everyone and welcome to another short coffee break video with me Louise Morrison. Today I want to talk about how you can criticise without causing offence or upset to the other person. Criticising someone in a polite way is an important skill, especially in personal or professional settings where relationships matter. Here are some approaches that can help you offer criticism constructfully, constructfully, constructively and respectfully. Number one, start with praise, the sandwich technique. Begin by acknowledging the person's strengths or positive contributions, then offer the criticism and end with encouragement. This softens the impact of negative feedback. For example, I really appreciate the effort you've put into this project. Your dedication is clear. I did notice, however, that the final report has some inconsistencies that we might want to address, but I'm confident you'll be able to fix those and produce a great final version. Number two, focus on the behaviour, not the person. Direct the feedback towards the actions or results rather than criticising the individual personally. This avoids making them feel attacked. For example, the presentation could have been more structured to make it easier to follow. Maybe next time we could organise the points in a clearer way. Number three, use I statements instead of you statements. I statements focus on how the behaviour affects you, while you statements can sound accusatory. For example, I felt that the meeting got a bit off track, which made it hard for us to stick to the agenda. Perhaps next time we could keep a closer eye on the time. Offer solutions or suggestions is number four. Pair criticism with constructive suggestions for improvement so the person knows how to move forward. For example, I noticed some of the data in the report didn't quite align with our last set. It might help us to double check the sources or cross reference them with the previous data. Number five, be specific. Now, vague criticism can leave the other person confused. Be clear and specific about the issue to help them understand exactly what needs improvement. For example, the tone of the email seemed a bit too informal for the client. It might work better to adopt a more formal tone, especially in the opening and closing. Number six, use a friendly and supportive tone. Your tone matters. Try to sound supportive and collaborative rather than accusatory or confrontational. For example, I know how challenging these tasks can be and I think you're handling most aspects really well. There are just a few areas where we could tweak things to improve efficiency. Number seven, show empathy. Acknowledge the other person's efforts and challenges, which shows that you understand their situation. For example, I understand that you've had a lot on your plate lately, but I noticed that some deadlines were missed. Maybe we could find a way to better manage the workload moving forward. Number eight, ask for their perspective. Involve the other person in the conversation and ask for their view. This makes the exchange feel more collaborative and less like a one way critique. For example, I noticed the client wasn't entirely satisfied with the last project. Do you think there's anything we could do differently next time? And finally, number nine, timing and context matter. Choose a good time and setting for your feedback. Criticising someone in front of others or at a stressful time oh, can make the situation worse. For example, instead of giving negative feedback in a crowded meeting, consider scheduling a private conversation where you can speak more freely. By following these techniques, you ensure that your feedback is seen as helpful rather than hurtful, and you preserve the person's dignity and motivation to improve. 
thank you for watching another short coffee break video. Please download the free transcript to look at the words and help you progress with your English. If you need individual lessons, please contact me through my website and click like, share, add a comment and subscribe. I appreciate all your support. Remember that English might be your passport to a promotion. Thank you so much and bye for now.